These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <laughs> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's Graham Green back here. And today, look at this. Look at this tiny little pod. Look at this tiny little pod. This is one of the most cigar cigarettes like feeling pods I've used in quite a while. It's got a very, very tight but smooth mouth to lung. I literally just got this. I opened it last night. But this video isn't just about this pod. I mean, it is actually kind of just about this pod, but this pod has a secret weapon right here, and this is a PCC. This is called the RE1. There's multiple different colors. I opened up this. Ah, uh, you can't really see it. It looks a little bit purpley. It kind of just looks like aluminum on video, but it is a little bit purpley, and that has a matching purpley little PCC right here. Yeah, hey, it's a separate purchase. I just want to make that clear right now in case I accidentally for some reason don't say it later, but it's a separate purchase. I'm kind of giving the impression on video now that this is like a kit that comes together. They don't. This is the kit. This is a separate purchase. That's all. This is a separate purchase. Back to the other guy. Real quickly, the pod itself is very simple, very straightforward, round little pod. There's a silicone fill port on the bottom and comes with a Delrin drip tip. I can remove the Delrin drip tip and replace it with one of these, you know, fake cigarette filter looking guy drip tips that people like. I will admit when using this, it does feel much more like my old friend, the cigarette in my mouth. I don't generally enjoy these. They sometimes get soggy, although this one hasn't yet, but they do also affect the draw of the pod. Da one. Now this PCC, Honestly, really impressive. PCCs or personal charging cases have been around since the very, 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 very beginning of vaping. One of the first accessories I ever bought for my vapes was a PCC, a little personal charging case. The battery of the pod right here, 800 ma. This, 2200. So on the bottom of my battery here, I got a little USB-C. That goes into here. There's a battery sized hole and I can just drop this down here. It is a delightful fit. Kind of just, yeah, it's a, it's a very good fit. And so I can just kind of slide this in here haphazardly, arbitrarily and turn it, boop, till you feel it locked down onto that USB-C. Give it a little press and now, it's charging. LED indicator on the battery is gonna go from red to blue to green. Right now it's in the blue, so it's charging. We're counting dots on the bottom, one, two, three, four. Four is obviously full. We're about halfway through right now. This button is to check the status of the charge of your PCC, and then this button is to release your battery. It can still be vaped while it's in the PCC. It actually tightens up the airflow just a little bit, but it's totally easy and totally vapable. And then I can press this. Boop. That flashes, meaning it's disengaged. It popped out just a little bit. It's not connected to that USB-C and I can just smoothly remove it. This is a spectacular little size. Feels mm, smaller than a cigar, kind of a little bit lightweight and handleable like this. Kind of just adds to the overall satisfaction, I think. And if you wanna be a boss and line it up every single time, just get that LED indicator right in the center and you can go straight down like a pro. I gotta admit, it's only been 24 hours that I've been using this little guy. Been a great time. These coil heads, these little pods are really unique. It is a very tight, like what I would have a number of years ago considered to be too tight. I wasn't on board with like the real tight mouth to lung. This, because it's so smooth, doesn't feel as tight as it really is. It's just wholly enjoyable and the flavor, wow. I mean, damn wow. Sometimes after leaving the battery in the PCC for a little while, the battery itself feels a little bit warm on the bottom. I don't think I'm in any imminent danger or anything like that. It's kind of something just to be aware of. I haven't fully depleted this battery yet, so I haven't fully charged it on the PCC. That's what I plan on doing. I do like using those little cigarette filter guys and so far they haven't got all soggy like they have in the past from other manufacturers, not from this company. But truth be told, I like hands free. And so I like this Delrin drip tip because I can just 
bite it. I mean, I'm sure I can bite the filter too, but much less satisfying. Anyway, this is a pod review. I go for longevity. So today is literally day two. Ain't no puff counter on this. I wasn't expecting one because there's no screen. So I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly how many miles I put on this. But for right now, I'll say I'm going to put it through its paces. I'm going to keep using it. I will catch up with you at a latter date. All right, well, as promised, here we are at a latter day, and I got some things to tell you. Overall, my overall experience with this whole setup has been very enjoyable. I mean, really, truly very enjoyable. The 800 mile battery in here, it's difficult to wear down. Like, it's difficult to wear down. It's 800 ma. I kept vaping it and vaping it and vaping it going, what? how are you not dead yet? I did eventually kill it a few times, and it fully recharged just like I thought it would in the personal charging case. Now, if I'm doing a little bit of ma math in my head, the stick batteries are 800 ma, and the battery personal charging case is 2200 ma, which means roughly, I'm really bad at math, I feel like that translates into roughly three full recharges. You might get like two full recharges and some change. It's nice to know that I could kill this three times and still have a little bit of charge left in here to go into that battery. And just the fact that I can use this inside the PCC, well, that kind of changes everything anyway. It's not too big. The personal charging case isn't necessarily something that I would like use and walk around with and vape out of it. This would very much be a, I'll leave this in my car. I'll leave it in my backpack for when I need it. And I'm just going to be using this little wonderfully cigar shaped little vape. Now I have to talk about these coil heads because that's where really I think this is going to make or break. The battery and the personal charging case, they're great. They work well, completely as advertised, but the coil heads is where this is most likely going to lose banana stickers. I like the little cigarette filters. I know I have really never enjoyed these in the past, but I think that's because they weren't a very good fit. These fit in here real snug, like snug enough that I can go hands-free with it. These coil heads are nice. These coil heads are flavorful. The draw is very tight, but very smooth. I did run into some, you know, not really wicking very well issues. These pods and these coils seem to be heavily, heavily affected by any change in the viscosity of the liquid. I set up three of them, and in this one, I put a salt nicotine, and in these two, I just put my standard 12 milligram guava jelly. The guava jelly is a 50-50, the salt nicotine is a 50-50, but the salt nicotine is thinner. It's just a little bit less viscous than my 50-50 deep cuts. I've had literally less than no issues with salt nicotine. I had literally no issues with the 50-50 in this, but I did have issues with the 50-50 in this. The guava jelly in this does that thing that some other manufacturers' pods do where it feels like it's perpetually going dry. I'm chalking it up to the coils because this one, perfectly fine. Guava jelly, flavorful, crispy all day long. But this more recent blue one that I set up just because, you know, it's kind of cool to have a little bit of contrasting colors. Put a blue one inside of an orange, you know, PCC. Kind of looks cool. This one, not doing well. Not doing well with that 50-50 deep cuts guava jelly. And I don't know if this is just a, a fluke pod or if it's more speaking to the inconsistency of the pods. St still flavorful. I, it, I don't want you to think that it's flavorless or anything like that. It's still flavorful and it honestly doesn't feel quite as going dry as some other pods, but I wish there was just a little bit more saturation on this. If someone is a tobacco cigarette smoker, honestly, just the, the littlest touch of having that filter tip on there, I think could make a huge difference. It, it would have made a huge difference for me back in the day when I was smoking cigarettes. I guess my last gripe before I hand out any banana stickers is going to be, man, that fill plug. That fill plug just sucks butts. It falls out constantly, constantly. It, it started happening literally every time I went to go refill it, the little fill plug falls 
completely out. It's kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass to get it back in. It's the only pod where I've really ever had to be super, super aware of the fill plug coming completely out <laughs> almost every single time. That bummed me out. The dryness and the plug and the fact that this isn't just a kit, that these are two separate purchases. So if I want this whole thing, I'm making two separate purchases. I think seven and a half banana stickers, final answer. This has some room to improve in the coil head and fit and finish department, but it vapes great and it's flavorful and it works as advertised. And I got a big battery and I got an even bigger battery that's still going to charge the other big battery. And I think with the addition of these little filter cigarette tippers, this is going to be something for cigarette smoking people that I am highly, highly going to recommend. I can't tell you exactly where to get them and I can't tell you exactly how much they cost either, but I'm assuming that we're looking at about between 40 and $50 for the whole thing, for like the whole kit and caboodle, the stick battery and the PCC. So some vape budget hands are needed there. And one other thing I can tell you that the World Health Organization doesn't like me telling you for some reason, but if you currently smoke tobacco cigarettes, hi, it's time to switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to only science and only education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.